everyone, this is your founder of Geek So Chic. I want to touch base with you on something that's super important to me, and that is the issues around the recent bill that was passed to allow, sorry, I'm trying to get my words together because it's so frustrating, but to allow people with disabilities to sit in the front of the bus. And then it affects parents, especially parents who have strollers, who have more than one kid, like me. I have four kids and two are under two. So basically the law now that that was passed by the federal government is that mothers or fathers have to fold up their strollers and um, fold their stroller and carry their babies onto the bus. I don't even know if they let the little lift down anymore after you have to fold up your stroller, pick up your babies, and then load them up on the bus. And then obviously, you know, you have to pay. So if you have your, your ticket punched, show that to them and then um, get your transfer or put your coins in and your dollars. Or if you have a, a bus pass, your employee um, bus pass or for school which one it, whichever one it may be but it's frustrating because it's like why do I have to suffer because um, the coalition for this people with disabilities basically passed helped pass this law they complained they wrote in letters they um, probably protested they made a big to do about the situation that People with groceries were sitting in the front of the bus and not allowing people with disabilities to sit there. And sometimes the bus gets really packed. So, you know, like someone comes on with a wheelchair and it's completely full. So people have to like squish all the way in the back, like move back to the back. But to me, people, it sounds like Rosa Parks all over again. Okay, we just celebrated Martin Luther King Day. And we're past segregation. We're past these types of issues. One bill shouldn't affect another group of people. Does that make sense? I mean, it's like, it's like segregation. You know, when black people weren't allowed to sit up front, they passed a bill that made it equal for blacks and whites to sit on the bus wherever they feel like it, you know? So it's the same thing with parents. Parents used to be able to just hop up on the little lift that the bus driver lets down, like he does for people with wheelchairs, um, people with disabilities, and then the mom wouldn't have to fold up her stroller and drop her babies um, and then get up onto the bus. Now, I mean, they won't, they won't let you get on the bus unless you fold up your stroller. You know, you may have groceries, you may have a diaper bag, you may have four kids, you may have two kids, you may have one baby. But that is a lot to handle, especially if you don't baby wear. Some people wear, you know, like the Tula baby carriers or there's a lot of really popular ones out there. I'm not going to name all of them, but there's wraps, there's carriers. You just you know, throw it on over you, put your baby in, or wrap your baby, and you have a baby on your chest in the front of you or on your back. But not everyone knows how to do that. Not everyone wants to baby wear and have a stroller and have their toddler and have their groceries and their purse, their diaper bag. Like, why? Um, there was a story in the news where a mother had a baby in her stroller but the baby had disability the baby um, was hooked up to oxygen and so the bus driver wouldn't they had it on video the bus driver would not let her on he's like you it's law I'm sorry lady it's the law the bill's been passed it's my job to reinforce this law you need to fold up your stroller or else I'm not gonna let you on so she had to like unhook all her little baby's oxygen tanks and tubes, fold up the stroller, grab the baby, grab the oxygen, grab... 
grab the groceries, grab the diaper bag, and hop up on the, the bus. Does that make any sense, people? No, I'm sorry, it's discrimination. We live in a, a country of democracy. We live in a country where everyone has civil rights. We live in a country where we make bills pass and we have legislators that make bills pass that are equal for everyone. Period. I mean, we need to get together. And I wish parents, more parents, would complain about this because it's ridiculous. There's no reason why I should have to fold on my stroller, my stroller, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional, my stroller to hop on the little, there's the bus cut that comes out here, 225 on this bus. It's a tiny little, like, call and ride right outside my building. I'm pointing, like, y'all know what I'm talking about. But, so fold on my stroller when I get on that one, then undo it, then hop on the light rail and get on the light rail. Then if I have to go all the way downtown, downtown Denver, where it's a mess for people like me to, you know, do all this folding up shoulders, taking my groceries, taking my diaper bag, taking my four kids, and hopping around everywhere and folding up strollers constantly. I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna be tired. Not just tired, I'm gonna be irritated. I'm gonna be irritated. I'm gonna be tired. And I'm gonna cuss out a bus driver. Someone, someone's gonna get shot. Someone, <laughs> you're like shot. That's what Kevin said. Kevin was like, look, people don't play out here or anywhere. Like dads, people can carry guns now. People have gun rights. Someone's gonna get hurt with all this mess. Cause they're messing around people's babies, okay? You can't just, you can't ride the bus cause your stroller is too big and you gotta fold it up. Look, sir. <laughs> Let me talk to you man to man, all right? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just being an actress. But we need to band together, parents, and fix this law, this bill. Because I don't go nowhere. I will not go anywhere. I'm not going to fight every bus driver in downtown Denver to let me hop on the bus so I can get to where I'm going in the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I need to get a bottle ready. I need to change a diaper. Okay, I need to get my you know, my shop on, whatever. I need to get my Starbucks, cheeseburger. I got things to do. So, anyways, love y'all and subscribe. See you next time.